Welcome to our cinematic journey across America. We've handpicked 40 films that beautifully capture the spirit and culture of each state they represent. From the sun-kissed beaches of California to the bustling streets of New York. These films offer a unique perspective on the diverse landscapes and experiences that make up the United States. So grab your popcorn, sit back, and join us as we embark on this coast-to-coast -coast adventure through the lens of some of the best American movies set in each state. 31. No Country for Old Men 2007. As a lover of informative and cultural movies, I found No Country for Old Men to be a compelling exploration of human nature and morality. The film, set in the stark desert landscape of West Texas, presents a gripping narrative that is both thrilling and thought-provoking. The performances by Tommy Lee Jones, Javier Bardem, and Josh Brolin are exceptional, bringing depth to their respective characters. The direction by the Coen brothers is masterful, creating a tense atmosphere that keeps you engaged throughout. It's a mess, ain't it, Sheriff? It did, ain't it'll do till the mess gets here. I'm looking for Llewellyn Moss. Did you go up to his trailer? Yes. Do you want to leave a message? Yes. I don't come back and tell mother I love her. Your mother's dead. Well, then I'll tell her myself. You got a loose skin in here. You think this boy Moss has got any notion of the sorts of dead are hunting him? I don't know. He ought to. He's seen the same things I've seen, and it certainly made an impression on me. Just how dangerous is he? Compared to what? The bubonic plague? 32. Thelma and Louise 1991. Thelma and Louise is a cinematic journey that captures the essence of friendship and rebellion against societal norms. The film's strong feminist undertones, combined with its thrilling plot and stunning visuals, make it a standout in American cinema. The performances by Susan Sarandon and Gina Davis are both compelling and relatable, bringing depth to their characters and creating a bond with the audience. The film's exploration of the American landscape, particularly the states of California and Utah, adds a layer of authenticity and grandeur to the narrative. Oh what? Tell me something. Is this my vacation or isn't it? His butt. <laughs> Thelma, have you lost your mind? Woo! I'm uh, Investigator Hal Slocum, Arkansas State Police. You get your butt back here, Thelma, now. As you know, we've tapped your phone. What? Maybe you got a few too many parking tickets? <sighs> Thelma, what happened? You're getting in deeper every moment you're gone. You want to step back and get in your car again, please? I swear, three days ago, neither one of us would have ever pulled a stunt like this, but if you was able to meet my husband, you'd understand why. What? 33. Moonlight 2016. Moonlight, directed by Barry Jenkins, is a compelling drama that beautifully captures the struggles of a young African-American man named Kyron. Set in the Liberty City area of Miami, the film offers a raw and authentic depiction of Chiron's life, divided into three stages, childhood, adolescence, and adulthood. Each stage reveals a deeper layer of Chiron's identity and sexuality, making the narrative both poignant and relatable. The performances, particularly by Mahershala Ali and Naomi Harris, are powerful and emotionally charged. The film's strength lies in its ability to portray complex characters and their internal struggles, making it a standout among movies set in the United States. Jamais personne décidé pour toi. Tu vas lui dire pourquoi les autres garçons adorent le frapper Qu'est-ce qui se passe 
Ça va Non, je sais de quoi t'as l'air quand ça va. Et là, ça va pas. Tu te rappelles la dernière fois que je t'ai vu T'es tout ce que j'ai. Et je suis tout ce que t'as. Je m'en vais, laisse non, tomber. Non, 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 tu vas écouter. Et ça ment. Hein Toi Eh, hey, t'es qui, toi ça fait une décennie que je t'ai pas vu. Je m'attendais pas à ça. 34. Stand by me 1986. Set in the picturesque landscape of Oregon. Stand by me is a timeless gem that beautifully encapsulates the essence of childhood and the poignant journey of growing up. Directed by Rob Reiner, this coming of age drama, with its compelling narrative and memorable performances stands out as a classic in American cinema. The film, with its blend of adventure, comedy, and drama, takes the viewer on an emotional roller coaster, leaving a lasting impression. The performances by the young cast are commendable, adding authenticity to the narrative. be a party. I'm never gonna get out of this town now, my glory. You think Mighty Mouse could beat up Superman? What are you, crack? I'll kill you, I swear to God. Thirty-five, Rocky 1976, Rocky, a film that encapsulates the spirit of the American dream, is a cinematic masterpiece that resonates with audiences even decades after its release. Set in the heart of Philadelphia, it tells the inspiring story of a small-time boxer who gets a once-in-a-lifetime chance to fight the world heavyweight champion. The film's gritty depiction of Rocky's life and his unwavering determination to seize his opportunity is both moving and relatable. Sylvester Stallone delivers a stunning performance, bringing depth and authenticity to his character. Yeah, well, let me do the figure, okay, Rock? From here, just let me do the figure. Come on! Wanna hear me? Come on! I'll break both your arms so they don't work for you! Bucks. You and your girl, Adrian, you have a nice time, eh? Thanks. Hey, Rob. What? Remember what I told you. What'd you tell me? Take her to the zoo. Oh, come on, come on! Come on, Rocky. Come on, Thirty-six. Dumb and Dumber 1994. Dumb and Dumber, a 1994 American buddy comedy film directed by Peter Farrelly, is a delightful journey into the world of slapstick Dumb, humor and absurdity. The movie, starring Jim Carrey and Jeff Daniels, tells the story of two well-meaning but de-inwitted friends who embark on a cross-country trip. The film is set in various locations, with most scenes shot in Colorado and Utah, making it a fun exploration of these states. The film's plot revolves around the duo's attempt to return a briefcase full of money, thinking it was abandoned as a mistake. Stupid. A person below normal intelligence. Hey, you want to hear the most annoying sound in the world? Guys! 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 If they each had half a brain, they'd still only have half a brain. Oh, look, Frost. Hmm? Horror! Jim Carrey. Hold that plane! Sir, 
sir! You, you can't go in there! It's okay! I'm the limo driver! Woo! <laughs> Jeff Daniels. Oh. oh, geez, look at the butt on. 37. The Notebook 2004. The Notebook, directed by Nick Cassavetes, is a film that beautifully captures the enduring power of love. Set against the backdrop of a picturesque a American song. state, Nor the film tells the story of a Nine young couple's romance that withstands the, the test of time and the they had challenges of Alzheimer's the disease. The, the night, performances by the lead actors are commendable, lending <laughs> authenticity to their no. characters and no. making the narrative all the more engaging. Okay, fine, the film's unabashed okay. sentimentality is its strength, it making it a memorable oh, cinematic oh, experience oh, that tugs oh, at the heartstrings. They fell in love, didn't they? Yes, they did. Do you want to dance with me? Sure. This is a good story. I think I've heard it before. It's like a dream. So what do you do, Noah? I work at the lumber yard. How much do you make at your job? 40 cents an hour. It has got to stop. Noah? He's a nice boy, but he is not for you. I don't see how it's going to work. You are not to see him anymore, and that's final. From the best-selling novel by Nicholas Sparks. Oh, miss. How's about that date? Comes a story. It's normal not to forget your first love, but I want you for myself. Marry me. About what we long for. I saw your picture in the paper, and I just wanted to see if you were okay. What we settle for. I have a fiancé waiting for me. 38. Badlands 1973. Badlands, directed by Terence Malick, is a captivating portrayal of two lovers on the run. Set against the backdrop of South Dakota, the film masterfully captures the vastness and isolation of the American landscape. The performances by Martin Sheen and Sissy Spacek are both haunting and mesmerizing, drawing the viewer into their desperate journey. The film's themes of love, rebellion, and the loss of innocence resonate deeply, making it a standout in American cinema. Despite its dark subject matter, Badlands manages to be both visually stunning and emotionally compelling, making it a must-watch for any film enthusiast. Not anymore. I don't want to see you again. Understand? Then, sure enough, Dad found out I'd been running around behind his back. He was madder than I'd ever seen him. He made me take extra music lessons every day after school and wait there till he came to pick me up. He said that if the piano didn't keep me off the streets, maybe the clarinet would. My girl Holly and I decided to kill ourselves. Same way I did her dad. Nobody's coming out of this thing happy, especially not us. I can't deny we've had fun though. We hid out in the wilderness, down by a river in a grove of cottonwoods. It being the flood season, we built our house in the trees. We planned a huge network of tunnels under the forest floor, and our first... 39. The Blind Side 2009. The Blind Side, released in 2009, is a heartwarming film that tells the story of Michael Orr, a young man who overcomes adversity with the help of the Tui family. The film is set in Tennessee, capturing the essence of American football culture. Sandra Bullock's performance as Leanne Tui is commendable bringing depth to the narrative. Like However, the, the film has been criticized for its portrayal of awe, with some viewers feeling that it world, oversimplifies his missing. journey. Despite this, the film remains a compelling watch, offering a glimpse into the power of kindness and the importance of providing opportunities for those less fortunate. So, you know, I felt like that's what I was supposed to be in, and you no, know, they made me feel at home. You know, Michael moved in to live with us full time, and uh, it had a, probably a much greater impact on our lives than we, you know, did on on his life. Collins, do you know Big Mike from school? Michael came. I felt like everyone just gathered around, and it was a center focus, and I felt like we were at home a lot more. And I think that's probably the best part of the story. 
I'm not cutting, I'm just asking. Let me tell you something, all right? We have been sitting around here for over an hour, and when I look around, all I see are people shooting the bull and drinking coffee. How can I help you? Oh, he was first. Th no, you go ahead. I think I want to hear this. Me too. Leanne Tui manages to do what she wants to do in the way she wants to do it, doesn't it? 40. Why Friday Night Lights 2004. Friday Night Lights is a compelling sports drama website. that captures the fervor Often of American high school. And Football. Just Directed by Peter Berg. The film the offers an insightful location look into the lives of the players and their coach in Odessa, Texas. Despite its Texas setting, the universal themes and emotions it explores resonate with audiences everywhere. The film's strong performances, particularly by Billy Bob Thornton and, and its realistic portrayal of the pressures faced by young athletes make it a standout in the sports film genre. Traffic. No other extension even comes close. Every Fortune 500 company in the U.S. and 93% of the Fortune Global 100 use .com. That's why .com is the gold standard of domains. With over a million domains to choose from, Huge Domains helps you find the perfect domain name. We want to make your shopping experience risk-free, so if you're not happy for any reason, just return the domain within 30 days, no questions asked. Get your .com today. We make it easy.